This is the first week in March. We have 110 cows to carry receive, which is 80% of the herd. 44% of the farm is grazed, and we have an average farm cover of 800 kgs per hectare. Growth is good at 22 kilos per day, so for this reason we have quite concentrated the supplementation to zero. This is the paddock that was grazed this morning. It has a post grazing height of 3.25 centimetres. We measured it using a rising plate meter. It had a pre grazing yield of 1250 kilos. This is typical of all the paddocks we've grazed so far this rotation and this is an essential in order to ensure good quality grass later in the season. There is excellent quality grass here in this paddock. And the reason for this is because it was grazed down to three and a half centimetres. There was 12 hour blocks allowed and as a result there's actually no damage on this paddock. The critical issues for March are to graze paddocks out fully to three and a half centimetres, to allocate grass on a 12 hour basis and to 25-30% of the farm grazed by the 1st of March and 100% grazed by the 1st of April. The other critical issues for March are, on this farm, 40 units of urea were spread per acre. The ration should be cut out of the diet as soon as your grass budget allows you, and the cow should be fed fully on grass. Due to the increased cost of our chemical fertiliser, we have to make more use of our slurry. This paddock received 2,500 gallons of watery slurry last Friday. It will be grazed again in six weeks' time. This is a paddock that got slurry in late January. We got 2,500 gallons per acre. Today it has a cover of 1,200 kgs per hectare and is due to be grazed in late March. There are several options of getting CalMag into the cow's diet once the ration is removed. You can put it into the water using tablets or you can put it in simply using the flow mag here which I'm pointing at. Or some farmers use the um, dusting method which they dust paddocks which is here behind me. Or the other method of getting the uh, CalMag in is through a bolus and can be inserted into the cow this way.